scams seem to be the topic of discussion recently with even i show speed getting caught up in the crypto promoting game he was promoting a crypto called paradox when they were having lots of problems with his chat spamming l scam and they wanted to talk about it with the mics muted but the mics weren't muted fuck did i So you can see them scrambling behind the scenes to try and mend anything and stop people from calling them a scam because they're going to lose money. So for something that's not supposed to be a scam and it's supposed to be the future of gaming, you sure are obsessed with what would be the price of your token in case anyone thought that it might be a scam. We can look at their website here saying the future of gaming and uh, that this has been said time and time again by plenty of blockchain games, but they all suck. They're not fun. People do them only to try and make money. But you scroll down, you see all these different services that they start to try and launch alongside this. Because if gaming's not your thing, maybe the Paradox Pad is. This launch pad to, for featured products on the Paradox Metaverse. Now, something that's interesting about this whole thing is this wasn't the description that used to be here. After the live stream interview between them and CoffeeZilla, they ended up changing this whole thing. You can try the Paradox Pad, where they promise 10x to 100x multiples if you invest. So originally you could get 10x to 100x multiples of your money just putting it in this Paradox Pad but it's it's removed it's not anywhere to be seen in the description now so it's almost like they had this whole interview with coffeezilla calling them a scammer and realized wow people are catching on to this thing we better change the language try and look more legit their next big thing is this paradox events thing uh, i think they had a fight with like andrew tate and jake paul or something if they said they're promoting but right here where it says that the tickets for the event and pay-per-view only available via Paracoin. I don't see any organizer of anything really coming to these guys to want to partner and say, we'll do everything through your cryptocurrency. I don't think anyone's going to do that. These organizers and event planners, they want to make money. They want to get dollars and get paid for their work. I, I don't see anyone doing exclusive currency deals for fights and stuff. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people want to be in the Paradox coin so bad that they're willing to do it. But their next venture, Paraswap, which uh, was supposed to be some big thing that they had planned. But actually, they changed the definition of this, too, because they realized that it was sounding like a scam and they didn't want to be called out for it anymore. Uh, they also have Paraswap, <laughs> where the average user can expect to earn up to 20% on staking rewards. So yet again, what do we see here that the 20% staking rewards is no longer in the description. They no longer put that in there because they knew that it was coming off as them being a scam. And people are smart enough now to realize, hey, uh, this 20% returns, maybe it's not so legit. And then they also have the DAO, you know, so much for things for a gaming company. I know Activision Blizzard, they just love running ventured capitalist firms, DAOs and staking rewards. They don't just focus on making video games. I know that's kind of crazy. But for their DAO here, the big thing, users who stake the PDAO could earn up to 10% per year in returns. And then with the added option to take part in the Paradox Venture Investments to receive 20% returns by having the PDAO locked in for 12 months so if only there were some other exchanges that promised these drastic returns that actually took your crypto and got these returns for you if only we had any examples of something like that happening before but i guess to their credit this is the only one they haven't changed so the 10 percent per year and 20 percent per year uh i guess that doesn't come off as people looking scammy 
I don't know why they didn't change it, but it's not changed right now. And another big thing that they did change on their whole site is their affiliate program no longer exists. Now, if all of that sounds dumb, you can even get your friends to invest too with, with Paradox Affiliate. <laughs> So Paradox Affiliate must have been so much of a scam or too scam looking that they didn't even bother trying to change how it talked and talk about it. They completely scrapped that idea and got rid of it. Now, these guys actually did launch this coin on the 17th. And if you're thinking that this thing went parabolic to the moon, everybody got rich and everyone was proven wrong and they're not a scam, you might just be a little too crazy because this is their new token launch down 25 percent today and you can see this whole chart i mean it's uh not looking good it is not looking good at all and they actually made a deal with coffeezilla about this coin saying if it didn't 20 or 30 x or go to 20 30 dollars i don't know what they're going to finish that with currently at six and a half cents they made a deal with him that they they would change their name i'll make this deal with you right here right now I'll make this deal with you right here, right now. Okay. <laughs> if our coin launches and it doesn't if do it a launches. minimum 20 to 30 or... I will change my name to Coffee. Okay, I don't even know what your channel's called. What's the channel called? I don't know. Dip? Coffeezilla. 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 I will change my name to Coffeezilla. So off of this, it looks like we have another Coffeezilla coming into the world. Somebody changing their names as... Clearly, this project did not do a 20 to 30 to 40 X or whatever he was going to finish. It, it collapsed. So what can we take away from this entire situation is that the vast majority of crypto is a quick cash grab Ponzi scam artist type stuff. And looking at people on YouTube and influencers, you probably shouldn't just take their word for it and go buy whatever they're shilling. Because at the end of the day, Speed got paid for this promotion. He made money, and if anyone listened to them, I don't think they did. The chat seems smart enough to realize that this was a problem. They would be down 21% or more. So speed got paid, and the viewers would have lost their money. It might be that the collapse of FTX and all these super high-profile YouTubers who were promoting it getting caught kind of catching the bag, but not really supporting the company. Maybe people are starting to get used to or wake up to this idea that you shouldn't just blindly trust influencers because no matter what happens to you, they made money. That's gonna do it for this video. As always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in my next video.